Repeat after me. Today, when I watch this show, I will learn, develop, and gain inspiration for the rest of my peers and most importantly, myself. Today, I will gain inspiration to leave every bit of it behind me for those who need it more than ever. Please enjoy the show and gain inspiration. Thank you. Yo, man! Hey, what's up, man? Hey, you know, I'm not here right now. Where do you think I shall be? I'm not even allowed to do anything on this broadcast. But hey, let's do a little song right now. Do a little dance with me. Hi, shine, hi, shine, Hey! Oh, he's here. What are you doing in my broadcast? What's this guy doing in my broadcast? Sit down with me. Sit down with me. What are you doing in my broadcast? Um, I don't know. What do you think I'm doing? What do I think you're doing? I'm trying to do a broadcast here, legend. And all you're doing is interrupting it. Why did you do that for? I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. My friend Legend wants to be a part of the show. Welcome to the 49th episode of Real Talk. Now, about that little dispute that just happened in the beginning of the show, just wanted to say sorry there. My friend uh, Legend uh, wanted to do some broadcasting himself, which after I told him, do not go in front of the camera without my permission. Is that right, legend? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's how he talks. He has the reggae accent, of course. Um, but besides that, though, besides that, before I start this episode, I want to introduce Legend, because Legend, he wants to start being a part of the episodes of Real Talk now. This is a part of Legend's job. He wants to start being a part of them. So, Legend, can you do me a favor and please introduce yourself? Wagwan, me name legend. All I'm doing here is I let you for a real talk. Real talk is my new show, man. Yes, man, my new show. Yo, man. Okay. Thanks, man, for your uh, kind moment there. <laughs> Well, legend and fans, today we are going to be actually having a discussion about the ice storm that has happened in Toronto this week. Do you remember that, um, do you actually, do you actually remember that, uh, legend? Me too. Now, this ice storm took a lot of things out of everybody. It took away our power. It took away almost our Christmas. That, and it still actually took away people's Christmases. It fucking pisses me off. It pisses me off. Oh. I'm sorry, Legend. Legend, oh, don't hit me like that. Ow! Okay. Enough. I'm sorry, Legend. Okay. Here's the thing. This fucking catastrophe that happened really pissed people off. Do you know why? Because people need to remember one thing here, okay? A lot of people got hurt without no power. That means no heat or nothing. People realize that, right? There is no goddamn heat. And it makes me angry. Now, before I do more of a discussion about it, I want to show you an example of an ice storm. I want to show you some clips that, um, that show an example of an ice storm that happened in Toronto. Here we go.
There you go. Now, as me and Legend have actually showed you, there is bad ice storms out there. Is that right, Legend? Yes. Now, Legend, since you're a part of the new show of Real Talk now, since you're going to be with me weekly, I want to ask you a question. Do you think, what do you, what's your opinion on the ice storm? Since you're from the Caribbean, what's your opinion from the ice storm? Oh man, it's some freaky shit. You know, having a power outage and all this stuff. I could not eat my own lollipops. You understand? I like Oh yeah. See what I mean? What Legend just said, it's one of the worst catastrophes he's ever seen in this world. Especially how, when you have people actually ruining it by ruining the environment. I like that, Legend. Thank you. Okay, stop kissing me. Leave me alone, Legend. We're in the broadcast here. Yeah, I know you're my good friend, but listen. The catastrophe really... This catastrophe really screwed up people's lives. And I don't agree with it whatsoever. You know, can I ask you guys a question? Towards the environment, why the hell do you think... What do you, why do you think there was an ice storm that happened? Do you want to know why there was a freaking ice storm that happened, guys? Okay? Number one, because of the fact that people are littering too much in our environment, throwing garbage all over the ground, which wastes plastic, garbage, recycle, which causes more pollution in our air. More money being taken out of our budget and where it's being wasted on bad things that are ruining more of our environment, more products that are not needed for our pollution, all that stuff. Don't you remember in the past four years that people and think about it, where people actually, like, wow, where we actually had really nice winters. Didn't you know that? Where we had really nice winters and we said to ourselves, my, what a fucking nice day we are having today for this winter day. Do you guys remember saying that? Because I remember sure saying that too on those days. And you know what? Look what happened. Four winters combined. Three, or at least three or four winters combined. And this is what happened. Let me ask you this. Did you learn your lesson to the people who littered? Did you learn your lesson? Now, when you, as I was saying, was that that's just what happens when you ruin our environment. When you ruin everyone's environment, it will cause chaos. I don't want chaos. Do you want chaos? I do not want fucking chaos. I'm sorry, but that's what chaos does to people, and places, and things. It causes chaos. Now, the only question I have for all of us again is, will you ever litter again? If you're walking down the street and you see someone littering, are you going to say something to them? Are you? Are you going to say, pick up that garbage? Or are you just going to go up and pick it up yourself so that our environment is not ruined? That's what everyone should do now. This catastrophe caused our ice storm to become this way. Now, another question. Do you want your power to go out like that again for three or four days at, at a time? Do you want to have no goddamn heat? Do you not want to have the accessories and resources that you need? Do you? Do you, Legend? No is right. That's all I want to ask, guys. That's all I'm asking. We all should be more polite to the environment. So, let's hope a nice storm that never happens again. Okay, everyone? I really hope we can live that message for life. Okay? Anyways, guys. Gotta get going now. Thank you for joining me for Real Talk today. And thank you for joining our new guest who's going to be with us weekly, Legend. So Legend, I want you to say something. Say something to the camera since you're going to be a new Legend weekly. New on here weekly. Say it. Inspiration and innovation, man. Alright, thanks guys. And we will see you next week. Bye bye. Quote of the day. Let's all get along with one another so we can be dangerous together. Did Real Talk inspire you today? Well, everybody, if it inspired you and you have a problem that you have at home or anywhere at all that you need help dealing with,
please everybody. Do not have an issue with the please. If you want to call me directly to let me know your problem and I can give you some help with it, please give me a call at my number right here where it says 647-741-0621. Or if you'd rather email it to me because you'd rather do it by the technical social media way, please email me at gpbes austin bullock at outlook.com okay now anytime you have a problem please don't forget to email me or call me thank you guys have a great day and see y'all next week for real talk bye